I mean, in prison, uh, homosexuality is viewed a little bit differently. You know what I mean? Like, like some dudes in prison feel that if a punk gives them head, they're not really gay. You know what I mean? Like you're only oh, gay if you get no. fucked. Like you know what oh, I'm saying? But no. so so I mean, in prison, were you seeing a lot of gay things happening? When I first went, they uh, you a crip? Like I first hit the yard. So uh, it's this dude that killed like eight dudes from my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? He was the quarterback of Dominguez and everything. So uh, I hit the yard. My homie like, let's take some pictures. I had this other dude named Boone. They was both from my neighborhood and shit. So I'm taking pictures with him. We whoop, 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 doing the prison poses. Right. So the Crips over there looking. Crips looking. As soon as I finished taking the pictures, they like, come take a lap with me. So I took a lap with him. They's like, man, why you taking pictures with them dudes? I said, man, that's my homeboys from Southside. They said, man, that ain't your homeboys no more. i like, what you mean? He said, well, that one, Oh, uh, his name Mitch Bitch. I like what? Mitch Bitch. Mitch Bitch. I like what? That's your homegirl. I'm like, damn. And the other one, they like, and that dude, the BGF, he ain't no crib no more. Can't fuck with them dudes like that no more, dude. Like, damn. They, he said, they ain't your homeboys no more, the Crips. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. So, prison, yeah. And uh, back then, if you fuck with a homosexual, you just as gay as them, you know what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. Crips, you you shun from the Crip car for sure. They on your ass. So there were no gay Crips, officially. It was it was it was gay Crips, but but you, not accepted with the other Crips is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, because I, it, I, it was just one motherfucker named Cotton. Uh, I was a she was a bad motherfucker. Had hands like a motherfucking man, but it, it, she it was a man though. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a, a yeah. transgender. Yeah, transgender, yeah, cotton. They tried to throw like two or three on each yard back then. Yeah, I mean, I've heard horror stories. Like, I, I remember I interviewed Life, uh, you know, Life Jennings recently, and he was telling me, you know, he was locked up for a while. Yeah. And he was saying how, like, there was this one dude that was in prison with him, and he would basically, he had this routine where he would act like weak. You know, yeah. he, he would act like he was like weak and frail, and whatever, and he would like, you know, have dudes thinking that they could take advantage of him and everything else like that until they would drop their guard and he would rape them. I ain't gonna say no names and then it was a nigga that used to pretend like he was weak. Like would literally let people suck him, like take his food and do shit like that because he wanted people to think that he was weak so he could lure them somewhere and then rape them. That was his shit. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. that type of weird shit. Or, you know, I mean, I, I remember this dude, China Max, told me a story about how, like, you know, like in prison, your ass is called your trunk. That's where yeah. you would, you know, hide drugs or yeah, weapons yeah. or whatever. And he was saying how, like, if someone found out that you had drugs in your ass, they would knock you out, pull your pants down, and then reach in there and grab the drugs out your ass and then go do the drugs. And not in just, Cali, man. They, nah, not in Cali, though. I mean, it just yeah. sounds crazy. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy world. Yeah. I mean, so you're saying that type of shit wasn't happening when nah, you were locked nah. up? When I, when, when I first went uh, in Tracy, uh, the, my counselor said, man, you going to Chino, CMC. I like, yeah. So the, they, they used to put the, uh, where your destination on the board that week. And that's my was said, DVI level three. I'm like, damn, this, this is my first time in prison. So I had my points was high. So they sent me there. I ain't gonna lie, I was scared. I was, I, I had fear. But once I got there, shit, all my crib partners was there. You know what I'm saying? It was a crib heaven for us, you know? It was our yard. Yeah, like a mother. It was like maybe like, it was like 3,600 inmates there, 1,800 of them was cribs. Yeah, that, so that shit was half, ours. Half the yard was crazy. Yeah, yeah, was, that shit was ours, yeah. 